All right, guys. So as you can tell from the title of the video, um, I have some pretty exciting, pretty exciting video to, to show you guys. Um, I've been trying to make my videos a little bit shorter. Uh, I know people, a lot of people haven't been watching them. 20, 30 minutes is kind of long for a video. Um, but this video, I kind of, it's just too much to throw away. Um, so uh, just kind of stay tuned and uh, we'll get into fishing. I did bring my chatterbaits today because I want to see if I can catch a trout on a chatterbait. I've hooked a couple, but I've never actually gotten one in. Um, I don't know if it's the hook placement or what the deal is. Maybe we'll try a chatterbait. We're gonna throw on the white and chartreuse with a white zoom super fluke. Got this one in my lucky tackle box. Uh, bass. I think this one came out of the tournament box. I can't remember. I'll have to look back on my video and see. But I did lose one. That same one a couple months ago. So it's nice to have a replacement. Put that in right there. The creek I'm fishing on today is primarily a trout creek. Um, it's managed for trophy trout. Um, you can't, you cannot harvest trout in this creek uh, unless it's 20 inches long, and you uh, cannot keep more than two fish uh, in this little creek. Uh, it is open year-round. Not a lot of people fish it. Um, this time of year uh, at least I never see very many people when I'm out fishing um, a lot of people duck hunt this little canal or little creek um, it's a good little spot I duck hunt it pretty much every day during every day during duck season every weekend during duck season I like take that back speaking of ducks Oh, got one. Ooh. I wonder if I foul hooked a sturgeon. Because there are sturgeon in this little creek. And if I did, I'm in trouble. <laughs> um, because that's a big fish, whatever this is. Um, 
it's pulling me fairly quick if this is a big trout it's a giant my leader you see my bait down there but I don't know what's got it whatever's got it, it's a big fish this is gonna be my first fish on a chatterbait for the year Whatever it is, it's pulling me upstream. Now, I'm not a small guy, mind you. I am 240 pounds, and whatever this is, is a big fish. Loosened up my drag a little bit because I don't want it to pull me I do have um, a 20 pound leader on. I know it's kind of a little excessive for trout, um, but you know, this is my, this is my kind of my heavy bass gear. And so I didn't really want to change my leader. Um, but whatever this, whatever this is, is a big fish. Um, my guess is it's a sturgeon. Um, I've never caught a sturgeon on this section of the creek uh, because you're not allowed to use bait um, this this little creek you're not allowed to use any kind of any kind of bait it has to be lures or flies artificial uh, artificial only and so um, this guy's giving me a little bit of a run for my money if this is a rainbow this is going to be my new personal best um if it's any kind of a of a trout this is going to be my new personal best trout because this is a monster well, i felt him touch the kayak and then he took off I can I can see the I can see my bait. I just don't know what it is. Um, the the water's a little dark, and I I'm pretty sure it's not. Pretty sure it's not a rainbow. Um, my guess is it's either a big brown, or it is a little sturgeon <laughs> oh come on oh, I really want this fish I just want to see what it is if this is a giant brown I'm gonna I'm gonna lose my mind I'm not gonna lie and it's starting to snow Nice and cold. My guess is I'm foul hooked. I'm, I'm guessing I foul hooked a sturgeon. Um, I, <laughs> this is so much fun. This is incredible. I foul hooked a sturgeon. I mean, I can see it and man, that's got a big jig, big open jig style hook on it. So I mean, it wouldn't surprise me that I just want to come on just come up to the surface I just want to see you come on come on come on just come up to the surface I just want to see what you are I 
can see that chatterbait sitting there, but I can't tell what the fish is. I mean, it looks like a little sturgeon. It looks like a little baby sturgeon, but I'm not 100% positive. I, I can just tell, I can tell, I can see tail flaps, but I can't really tell what. And mind you, this is a seven foot three um, Dobbins Fury series um, in a heavy, heavy action. Yeah, heavy or heavy fast action um i mean this is a uh it's a 734c um and i mean i fought fish on this before um i actually had a 730 a 733 and i ended up i accidentally dropped my anchor on it from my boat and i know that's kind of a stupid thing to do but yeah, i didn't do it purposely um come on come on what is it what is it come on what is it i mean i've caught i've caught them on a lighter action rod before it was a medium heavy um this is just like a straight heavy and so um, I am not purposely trying to catch uh, sturgeon, just so you know, this is not target species, and it is. It is a small sturgeon. I just got to check a, a thing in their tail. I just checked out his tail. Um, I am not targeting sturgeon. I just want to make sure that that is 100% clear. Um, this does not have a, um, a barbless hook on it. Um, I looks like i foul hooked him on the top fin um so we're gonna try to get to shore and try to get possibly get this thing in um it's about a i if i'm gonna guess i'm gonna say it's about a four or five foot sturgeon um i was not targeting sturgeon um just so that's aware um, i don't have the barb crimp down on this chatterbait and I really don't want to lose this chattel bait. So um, we're going to try to get over to shore. I'm going to loosen my drag up. Uh. There's no rocks or anything I'm worried about getting snagged on or broke off on. He's coming in slow. Getting tired. Oh, my hands are freezing. Forgot my gloves at home. Well, I forgot one glove at home. I have the other one, it's in the truck, but it's still cold. Come on. Get this baby in before. tail it's 
see a tail. You can see my chatterbait. Oh, he's turning. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. No, don't go down. didn't want to make this a very long video um, I know a lot of people don't watch the, the videos I've been making all the way through because they've been kind of long 15 to 20 minutes um, I am standing in the water right now uh, there's a, like a ledge right here and so I don't know how deep it goes out to you I know I'm in about ankle a little over ankle deep tail I can see that chatterbait I can't believe I foul hooked a sturgeon with a chatterbait like I don't understand how that's possible here he comes Ooh. <laughs> got him right above that there's a fin on top right above their tail fin releasing some bubbles Oh, come on, buddy. Don't go back out. Um, I've always wanted to come in here, and because of the rules on this re on this creek, um, you're not allowed to use live live bait. Well, you can't use live bait in Idaho unless it's crayfish or worms, but um, you can't use bait on this creek at all. And so I'm, <laughs> I really want to come in here and try to try some sort of artificial minnow with some kind of scent. And see if I can't pick up a couple more of these but I am not targeting this fish I am not targeting this species I just want to make sure that that is perfectly clear because I don't have a barbless hook on here um, I did foul hook this fish I don't know how I did but I did buddy oh buddy that's a big fish <laughs> that's a fat fish <coughs> god this is gonna go on forever And my chatterbait come loose. Oh, look at all the mud on my boat. Oh, well. oh. I was really hoping to get that fish in. Oh, well. All right, guys. Um, that was a fun experience. Um, I've never hooked a sturgeon on a chatterbait, let alone foul hooked one. Um, you know, it's kind of a first for me. A chatterbait's supposed to be, you know, something that's fairly weedless. You know, you can't, you can run it through a lot of weeds and not get hung up. Um, I just think I might, I, you know, I cast it out, was fiddling with my reel a little bit, and it just sunk down, and the line got wrapped around just, just perfect. And I was able, I accidentally hooked that fish. Um, but thanks for watching the video. Um, I greatly appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a like. Uh, subscribe. I've got a lot of stuff planned. Um, I have an upcoming trip to Coeur d'Alene Lake um, up in northern Idaho. Uh, we're going to go chase pike. Um, I've never caught a pike and so it's on my bucket list for a bucket list fish, you know. Um, so, but I've got a, quite a few videos planned out. Um, we will go back to the sturgeon uh, more along the lines of when they, when the, I have a small little creek 
tiny, tiny, tiny creek, but clear water um, that you can sight fish for them. So we're gonna we're gonna try that um, and see how that goes. And uh, but yeah, stay tuned. Please subscribe. Please like this video. And if you want, share it. Uh, if you think somebody else will get a kick out of this video, please share. Um, all the views and likes give me you know help me out greatly. So I do appreciate it. And you guys have an amazing day.